My name's Lesis George. I'm the Arts and Health Coordinator for Cuntam Morganog University Health Board. Esis George Dinenovi, Viadi Kudlanid, Kelva Yechid, Eva Burd Yechid, Cuntam Morganog. It's been a pleasure to be an Arts and Health Coordinator with the Health Board in such exciting times for Arts and Health. There's been an emphasis in recent years for arts and health and creative ways to develop health and well-being to be an integral aspect of the work and delivery of health boards in Wales. This was generated through the Wellbeing of Future Generations Act a few years ago, followed by a development in memorandums of understanding between the Arts Council of Wales and the Wales NHS Confederation. My work has involved a whole range of different exciting and innovative initiatives and activities to develop arts and health work across the health board. We've liaised really uh, heavily with um, the arts and health department at the health board uh, and in particular SS George um, S who's the uh, arts and health coordinator we've built a really kind of strong relationship with and, we, and she's really supported us. It was called Not To Be Forgotten Stories, the project, and the idea was that people could um, have a chat with me as a, as a therapist um, and tell me their, their story, how their lives have been changed perhaps, or stories that they didn't want to be forgotten or lost through this time. I guess engaging with the arts is that it's like a different pathway, it's a different way to access your own uh, unique kind of resourcefulness, your own competence, your own resilience and your own creativity. At Aspetia Seren we've developed a model of good practice of holistic creative health care for patients and for staff. I've also been working with patients in Aspetia Seren to create patient stories, patient experience stories, their journey through illness and being in hospital recovering from Covid and using their own words we started to build poems about the patient's experience and the feedback from the health board on hearing those was really powerful. It really reminds us of the whole life of the patient and I thought that that was wonderful to hear. And over the last few months I've been working in arts and health. It's interesting to, to be able to offer a, chance, a moment in time really and a chance to play in a time when perhaps they didn't think there were many resources left for them but it's been fantastic to have that time to listen to people both, both patients and staff um, have an activity that enables um, discussions kind of communities are built in those moments and, um, and connections are made and I think that I've seen that it's a powerful vehicle for, for, the, for the health board to use going forward because people are relaxed, they feel valued. One patient said to me at the end of a workshop, you know, oh, you, I, I, I couldn't do that, I couldn't draw, you've allowed me to do things I never thought I could do. We built an amazing dynamic where the women felt that that space was really valuable to express things that they might not have felt comfortable expressing in other places and some of the feedback from that was through their writing um, they felt they could be really really honest and they felt that what they wrote and what they wanted to share was valued so I think creating these possibilities for art to be integrated within healthcare gives people a freedom to play and express and find and reflect on things that matter to them and also to build communities through sharing those experiences in ways that they might not have otherwise felt comfortable to do so or maybe not had the opportunity to do so. So we are hoping over the next few months to develop this holistic model across Kumta Morganog University Health Board and at the moment I'm developing working groups across community hospitals to develop this model further. 
We've also been initiating a range of creative activities for health board staff wellbeing. We, we did um, quite a playful little workshop with, with masks and printing messages on masks. What was so fantastic actually is the messages were so positive. These are staff that have worked all year um, and yet, you know, spring is coming, hope and kindness. Really, really um, positive affirmations. Just, just for a moment, you know, to, to, to be a, a bit of a relief before they go back into work. And also because I really want to know what they, they think and I really want to know what they say um, and how they feel that the arts help. Um, I met Ed as the arts coordinator um, about two years ago. I found her really enthusiastic. She encouraged me to do this mini exhibition here behind me of six photographs um, taken of uh, my favourite places that I go walking with my dogs. I think it's vital what we're doing at the moment with the art programme and I think this is the way forward. I think we need to be more inclusive of um, different ways of if people have gone through illness or difficult phases in their life is including mindfulness, including arts, including creativity in our day-to-day -day lives. Having something else to focus on, something else to divert your attention to um, and I think it lets you express yourself without necessarily having to talk. Sometimes people don't want to talk and I think what Ez is doing and has been doing to encourage the staff and the patients to just step, step outside their uh, comfort, comfort zone is invaluable. So workshops for staff have included looking at Comtav Morganog University Health Board core values of teamwork, kindness, learning and listening around subjects such as creating positive working environments for staff, developing teamwork across staff teams and initiatives like working with the chaplaincy at Comtab Morganog to look at creative bereavement and loss workshops for staff. So an important aspect of my work has been writing funding applications to get further funding for arts and health initiatives. So recently we've been successful in getting funding through the Health Arts Research People Nesta programme to develop a model of creative social prescribing. So looking at linking creative workshops in hospitals with ongoing creative work in the community for patients. Um, I'm also a part of the Arts and Health Champion Network, which is, you know, people from all across the health board involved in that, people at a kind of a strategic level, um, uh, people who are very kind of clinically based in terms of physical health and mental health, um, and it's just a whole kind of a, a network of people who are interested in the arts. So S has kind of brought us all together through digital media, kind of um, engaging with each other. It's been wonderful to meet such diverse people, but also see how the arts allows people to open up and allows people to take time to access memories sometimes. That's a really important part of recovery and feeling listened to is so important in healthcare. We've also received funding to create even further creative staff wellbeing programmes and also initiatives like partnership work for example, working with local schools and working with universities on joint projects between our partners and the health board, creating all sorts of therapeutic and arts work for hospital environments and beyond.